a new restaurant opening up in Whitewater and hosting a very special event. Here to tell us a little bit more is chef and owner Tyler Salisbury from the Black Sheep Restaurant in Whitewater. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure to have you here, Tyler. Now, first, let's start with how this all came about. Now, you have kind of an interesting background starting at culinary school. Yep, I went to culinary school and I, I always dreamed of having a restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, and then we took those uh, business management courses where they tell you the success rate of restaurants and I thought, you know what, maybe this is maybe this is something I'll do down the road, my retirement job. Yeah. And uh, so that's where it started, but I, I love food. Um, decided a business degree in Whitewater would mm -hmm. be a good thing, whether I um, go into the business field before I open the restaurant or if I, when I do eventually open the restaurant, I wanted to have that knowledge. And uh, started a little business in Whitewater, gave me the courage um, to give it a try. Rented a restaurant um, for 18 weeks over the past summer to say, hey, you know what, let's see if, if Whitewater is going to be receptive to kind of our fresh local mm -hmm. um, focus. And went from there, and now the restaurant is open. We'll talk about your special event in just a moment. But first, let's feature some of the food. Let's start down here, Tyler. What did you prepare? This is uh, lamb ravioli. We, of mm -hmm. course, make all of our own ravioli from scratch. We do some whole wheat pastas and some um, semolina. This is an imported Durham semolina flour. Um, then this is also Wisconsin lamb or Pin Oak Ridge Farms lamb. So it's a real local lamb. It's a phenomenal lamb sausage that we work with them on. Um, and then we add a bunch of uh, flavors. Um, to that to make the filling for those rabbits. I can smell it just standing here. Thank it's just you. wonderful. Now let's move on to this one. This, this is a pork dish? This is a pork loin. We're excited to work with Jordan L. Farms out in Argyle soon for our pork, which is which is going to be an exciting relationship. And this is also made with a New Glarus Belgian Red. It's their Ooh. cherry beer. Every every bottle of beer has a pound of cherries in it. And um, so we reduce that down, marinate that a little bit, and then make this sauce, which has um, dried cherries in it, along with another savory and thyme and um, rosemary and that. And a couple of different bruschettas. Yep, I'm um, talking about the special event in a little while. These will be some of the samples, but this is a goat cheese bruschetta. Um, we do a, a fig balsamic that we make in house, and then um, the goat cheese spread, and then brandied fruits and roasted red peppers. Ooh, and of course we have to tap it all off with something a little sweeter. Yeah, we do a chocolate custard. Um, it's a very, very rich chocolate custard. We do macerated pears in that Belgian red that we just talked about um, to, to take a little bit of that sweet bite off of it. So. Ooh. Now, the special event that you are hosting. March 30, 30th and March 31st, and this is going to be kind of an open house, right? Yep, we're going to do um, from 4 to 6, some of our vendors are going to come in so you can actually meet the farmers. That's important mm -hmm. to me. I like We've gone to a number of the farms to see how the animals are raised. So you're going to come in and rather go directly to the farm, come and meet some of those producers. Um, we're going to have free samples of some, of some of our different products, including our bruschetta. Some of our raviolis will be available for folks to try. Um, on that day from 4 to 6 and then we'll be open after that for regular dinner service. Wonderful. And now are you open for lunch and dinner or just dinner for now? Just dinner now. Okay. We want to make sure we do everything really well mm -hmm. and so someday down the road we'll be open for lunch. We do a Sunday brunch right now. But Oh good. Now this is located the Black Sheep Restaurant in downtown Whitewater. Yep. Right on the lake. I, I think we have a phenomenal view of Whitewater Lake and just a great location. Well, it sounds just absolutely wonderful. Congratulations to you on opening your restaurant and some fabulous food available. Hopefully everyone will get a chance to get out and enjoy. Sounds good. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.